watching the red carpet world premiere of Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame. I'm Lorraine Sink. I am LZ Granderson, and I am totally freaking out right oh now. Oh my gosh, I am so <laughs> excited for tonight. It's going to be epic. 21 films in the making. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is ever expanding, and tonight is going to be a night of a million stars here on the carpet. All of the original six Avengers are going to be back with us, and lots more folks from the Marvel Universe. A million stars, even more questions. <gasps> I mean, think about it. The heroes lost in the last film. What are they going to do in this one to re-get our faith back? I trust nothing. You don't know what's going to happen, but I do know you should be watching this over at marvel.com slash endgame premiere or check out all of the cool stuff from the night at Avengers on social media and hashtag Avengers Endgame because we are going to be posting some really cool stuff, but we're also going to be here all night long talking on the carpet with all of the stars and the amazing creators of this film. Absolutely. You know, I'm really fascinated to see how large of a spreadsheet they needed to have in order to to get every single bit of detail accurate up leading up to this moment. Well, we're going to put their feet to the fire in just a moment, but we're not the only people here holding down the party. We have our friends on the other side of the carpet. I can see our host from here. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is an amazing, epic, epic carpet. Wow. We are down here at the Los Angeles Convention Center. First time we've ever done a red carpet premiere, or should I say purple carpet premiere. A cha-cha purple carpet. And you know, the greatest thing is tonight is the largest Marvel Studios movie premiere ever and that comes equipped with a 40 foot a that is actually revolving around right now in this amazing energy filled room and you know I'm just ready to see all the stars tonight and see the Marvel family come together. Absolutely, to see the stars of this movie as well as folks from the extended MCU. I mean, that's one of the things I love about these events. Everybody comes together to support this film, and this is one we have all been waiting for for a long time. Absolutely. Well, we are going to be checking in with you ladies throughout the night, so tomorrow, Angelique, take notes. <laughs> Tell us what's happening a little bit later. but. I am so excited about this film. I'm looking forward to seeing our Avengers rise up together because there have been some major casualties in the Marvel Universe. What do you I th think? I think we all saw Marvel Studios' Avengers Infinity War and we felt a lot of feels. Yeah, I mean, I'm still getting chills over the scene with Peter Parker and Tony Stark. Oh, too soon, too Is it soon. too soon? I'm sorry. But you know what? I know what will make us feel better. Let's take a look at Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame right now. God, it seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. I became Iron Man. I realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. All these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes.
I like this one. <laughs> I love that I moment know. of eye contact between the two of them. A I little can... smirk on her face. Well, no one I'm... can smirk like a Carol Danvers can smirk. I think I know that deep, deep down in my soul. <laughs> Brie Larson, we love you. But, you know, there are so many amazing Marvel fans. That's the thing that I love, and that's what tonight is really all about. It's about you guys at home. Thank you for hanging out with us here. Please stay with us throughout the night because we're going to be talking to so many people. But... There are also fans that are here tonight. Yes. Crowded. Been out here. I got here like 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. They were already lined up, already dressed, and ready to go. And Absolutely impressive. Our fans dress. They dress for the premiere, but they don't necessarily wear a sparkle dress or a sweet purple suit. Thank but you. they do wear some amazing cosplays. Let's check in with Josh Soleil and Ryan Panagos, a.k.a. Agent M, and see what they've got out there with the fans. All right, so we are here with some of the most amazing and loud Marvel fans, some incredible cosplayers. Look, she's cosplaying as Nebula. Nebula, how long did it take to put this together? Well, aside from the fact that I was born this way, right? <laughs> um, the costume took a couple of months to piece together. I like to thrift my items and kind of make things from scratch. So about four months for that one, and then about three and a half hours to put the whole thing on. Well done, and thank you. Thank you we so have much. a beautiful Iron Man piece here. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, this took 48 years. And this took about two months from Israel Magante at Raw, and Poppy Miranda painted this in two weeks. And where are you coming from today? Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Ryan, who do we have over there? Whoa! All right, so the Marvel Universe is so vast, so many amazing cosplayers. We've got a Scarlet Witch over here, a Winter Soldier. How long did it take to make Scarlet Witch? About two weeks, pulling all-nighters a lot. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You guys came from California, right? A yeah. lot of California love here. It's amazing red carpet. Back to you guys. Oh, that makes my heart feel so warm. And I love what that gentleman said. This took 48 years. Yes. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's a lifetime of fandom. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, honestly, it takes me about three days to figure out what I'm going to wear on a Monday. To know that they're planning just as diligently as the storytellers themselves to celebrate this great moment just tells you how beautiful both fan and production interact with one another as one big family. Absolutely. And I think that, you know, I really see it in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that they love to make their fans happy, to bring them in. Last year we celebrated MCU 10, which was just the biggest fan celebration. And I think we're continuing in that spirit. We're keeping our fingers crossed for our Avengers that Endgame is a better game. <laughs> well, it depends on your point of view. True. The antagonist, if you will. I think the last movie ended up pretty well for Thanos. Do you not think so? <laughs> well, it turned out great for Thanos. And that is one of the things that's really true is that Thanos is a compelling villain mm -hmm. because there's some part of you that's like, I see your logic. You're going about it the wrong way. <laughs> All the I, wrong way. He wants to make the, the universe better in, in his way, which is kind of deceitfully evil and terrible mm -hmm. for the rest of the, the universe. I keep wanting to say the world. <laughs> But this is a lot bigger than the world. Yes, and, it, it, you know, it's so interesting because when you think about the age of Ultron, Tony Stark thought he was doing what was best for the world as well. Uh, people make mistakes, but... People make mistakes. You know what? I hear that uh, our ladies are getting into some trouble over on the other side. Tamara, Angelique, what are you up to over there? <laughs> trouble? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> no, Never. we are here with one of the newest faces of the MCU, Hiroyuka Sonata. Welcome to your first Marvel Studios purple carpet. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I recognize white purple, but I love purple. My favorite color, so I'm so happy. Well, we were just looking behind us, marveling at this huge A behind us, the scope and scale of this. What's this like for you? Uh, it's like uh, dreams come true, you know. When I got the offer for my role, I was so excited and surprised. And I had a great time on set, but today it's so special. It's like a festival or Olympics or, you know, so happy to be here. You know. And that's really amazing. And what I love about the Marvel Universe is that all of us are here as a family. All of us are here and out tonight. Yeah. Is there anything in particular you're looking for to fans seeing when they get a chance to see Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame? Mm. Oh, everything. <laughs> I was a big fan of series and then comics, too. And then Stan Lee was my hero. So 
I wanted to see him, but uh, maybe he, he's here tonight. I kind of feel like he probably is. You know, I always like to ask cast members, what is that moment on set that was your Marvel moment, that moment where you looked around and said, wow, this could not happen anywhere else but besides a Marvel Studios film? When I first visit set, it was amazing. Huge scale and uh, so real. And then, mm, oh, this is a Marvel movie. And also, the regular actors and the crew has great teamwork. And then, very welcome atmosphere for the guests, too. So, I was so easy to jump into the shooting without, you know, pressure or something. It was so warm, nice, kind atmosphere there. Oh, this is Marvel Studio, I thought. Well, I definitely know we're feeling that warm, welcoming family atmosphere here tonight on the carpet, and there are a lot of folks that I know want to get a chance to talk to you, so thank you very much, and, you know, have a blast tonight, and welcome to the Marvel family. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> neither can we, neither can we. Have a great night. Thank you so much. I just love hearing about how amidst this huge endeavor, they still managed to keep it real on set, keep it warm, keep it wonderful. So now we're going to flash back to our friends over on the other stage and find out what's going on. Here we are. And, you know, Tamara, you guys mentioned earlier this ginormous yes. Avengers symbol <laughs> behind us. It's huge. It's, I believe, 40, 40 feet. feet high. That is several hulks high. Uh, and it... It got built over just the course of the last day or so. Yeah, we this... were here rehearsing, mm -hmm. and it was just a shell of what you see right now. And over time, we were, during rehearsal, seeing them do the finishing touches. And, you know, I was joking with you. I'm not really into huge sizes like that. But if I could take this home and no one would notice, I would totally do that. Yeah, I would not mind putting it in my living room if my living room were 40 feet high. <laughs> I think it would be pretty incredible. But look at the amazing work that so many people put into this carpet. I really want to give a shout out to all of the people that are working here tonight who bring this show to you, who bring these amazing premieres to you, and the incredible folks at Marvel Studios because there's so much thought that goes into every single tiny detail here on the carpet. Absolutely. I mean, even if you think about just the carpet, it, the cha-cha purple as it's <laughs> called you know recognizing that Thanos's story is just as important to the story of the Avengers in terms of its overall narrative that's happening right here so I'm glad to see that we're saying yes to the purple but <laughs> yes also say purple. yes to the purple but also <laughs> yes to the Avengers of course with the giant 40 foot a behind us I mean and how can you not feel emboldened how can you not feel ready for anything and you know what I am ready to see some stars because over at arrivals that is where the action is going to be happening very soon. Stars are going to be coming, arriving, showing up in their in their cars and whatnot. I can't wait to see what's happening down there on arrivals. And there it is. Take a look at oh, that. Oh, look at the fans. I always think it's really fun to take a look at arrivals because you get to see each other, seeing each other for the yes. first time. A lot of people, you know, they see each other when they're shooting. They might go in during ADR and just get to say hello, see a little bit of footage, but that's it. That's the only time they get to see each other. Right. I mean, reportedly, you know, most of the cast for the film, they didn't get the entire script. They only got their scenes. And so not only are they seeing each other for the first time since post-production, they probably haven't seen each other really since those individual scenes that they finished up. Right. So, and even on the press tour, a lot of times they're separated a right. little bit to travel all over the world. So we're so pleased that they've come to join us here tonight in, a, in the United States, in Los Angeles, at this beautiful new location. We're usually on Hollywood Boulevard, and it right. feels really, really special that we're here at the L.A. Convention Center tonight. Well, well, they were definitely able to go all out in terms of decor. I mean, we've mentioned the giant rotating A behind us. The purple is everywhere. And there are some incredible displays from Comic Cave and from Lego that we're going to be checking out later. But if you're just tuning in, go over and watch this at marvel.com slash endgame premiere or follow at Avengers or at Marvel where there is going to be a ton of cool stuff posted throughout the night highlighting all of the cool things that we're doing here on the purple carpet. And be sure to also send us any of your questions as well. We might be able to get to them. Yeah, hashtag yes. Avengers Endgame. Tamara, Angelique, how's it going down there? 
Well, we're down here with a little bit of mayhem. We're here with Emma Lahana, who plays mm -hmm. Mayhem slash Bridge at Marvel's Coke and Dagger. Braham, it's Braham. Bra it's I'm sorry, the Braham. It. You're right, yeah. we need to ship it. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> Ali Maki, who plays Mina Hess on Marvel's Coke and Dagger. And also Giggles McDimples in Toy Story 4. Ah. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so exciting. You know what? Speaking of, both of you play really strong characters in almost everything that you do. You know, tonight we're going to see some strong women superheroes on screen. If your characters could give a bit of advice to Okoye and Black Widow tonight, what would your characters say to them? Uh, I think Mina would say, uh, you know, do your research and go in strong. She loves research. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what Mayhem would do, because I just think she's a little <laughs> sketchier than everyone else, so I don't she think is. that she should really be g handing out advice. <laughs> I don't know if anyone ever really knows what Mayhem is going to do, right? I don't, I don't think Mayhem, mayhem knows. knows. <laughs> but that brings up something interesting. You know, one of the themes for this movie and the MCU in general is this walking between light and dark and how to do the right thing. Thing. And that's something that really gets explored on Cloak and Dagger. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Well, I think that's what's so interesting is it really blurs the line. Mayhem, for instance, she is going after a lot of people and she's killing a lot of people. She doesn't really think about the ripple effect of who she's attacking, but it does challenge you as an audience member. Do you really disagree with what she's doing? Um, and sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. And I think it just kind of poses the question to everybody. If you had those powers and if you were in a position to help, what way would you do that? I love that Cloak and Dagger takes on these really important societal issues that we're kind of all going through. And you're kind of, you know, we're in a society now where it feels very black or white, but, you know, what is that gray area and how do we deal with that and how do we move on and still be, you know, humans to each other and still be nice to each other? So I love that about this show. I think that really personifies what we're dealing with tonight. Obviously, in Marvel Studios, Affinity, um, in Infinity War, we saw this moment where Thanos went, and now tonight our heroes get to do that. So. I'm looking forward to it. I know y'all have got to make it to the movie. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. Enjoy and the night. Do not kill Iron Man. We beg of you. No, <laughs> that could never happen. So, well, let's go ahead and see what our, our ladies are doing. Well, LZ and Lorraine are doing at the other end of the carpet. What's happening down there? Well, hello. Look who we found. Benedict Wong. Hello, sir. Hello there. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. I have to say, you you traveled the world. Where have, Where was the last place you just were? Uh, where was I last? Uh, uh, Work-wise, uh, let me see. Vancouver. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. Thank you for joining us Thank tonight. Yeah. We're so excited. Wong survived the snap, is, is the word on the street. Uh, how's he going to do without his best bud? Should we be concerned? What best bud? Oh. Well, <laughs> you know, a doctor so friend. <laughs> um, no, uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, apparently Wong is... Uh, my name is on the poster, but that's all I can say, really, to be honest. I can't really say a lot. <laughs> you None know, of us can. One of my favorite moments from the film was the discussion about getting something to eat. It was such a great comedic moment. How much of that is improv and how much of that is scripted? Uh, that wasn't me. That was in the script. But I've since, uh, <laughs> I'm obsessed with tuna melts now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Looking and for a paid partnership and if you're out there. Um, <laughs> And that's my other big question. Yeah. Is Wong going to start carrying cash? Isn't that a little irresponsible? Uh, I think it's all going to go digital, really. So I think he's uh, prepared <laughs> with his little, uh, I don't know, his little loyalty card. Yeah, he'll get a de <laughs> he's got his debit card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, so I know you can't say too much about the film, and we don't want to spoil the it's end okay. game. Don't spoil it. Right. But for fans who watched Infinity War, what was your favorite scene getting to shoot in Infinity War? Um, I mean, personally, I mean, it was working with, you know... So, yeah, so the Robert price point for them uh, are definitely not as high as name so brands. And I also Ruffalo. like that they don't... <laughs> Those <laughs> Avengers... Those back. are pretty good He's names. coming back to me yeah. now. <laughs> I mean, uh, and uh, obviously Wong got his, uh, his uh, personal superpowers, well, which was fantastic. And, um, yeah, that was an amazing uh, few days. I mean, like 500-odd uh, supporting extras and uh, all just... Just teaming down and running with a sheer panic whilst you're kind of like, you know, you salmon so swimming upstream, you know. So, uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was a great day. Yeah. Well, well we know you have a thousand and one people that are yes. here that want to talk to you, yeah. especially about the tuna melt. So we're gonna let you go. <laughs> Don't spoil the end game. We've got our eye on you. Stay all, out of trouble. All the preparation we need is just to uh, go to the toilet, and that is it. <laughs> there you and go. That is all we can do. That's all you can do. Yeah. 
Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You Enjoy your much. night. Yeah, Cheers. Night. Thank you. You too. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, Good. welcome. Good. Good. Nice to see you all. We're going to hop right in here. Yes. Look at Luis Diaz Zito. Hello, sir. How are you doing tonight? How are you? Very, I'm a little nervous, actually. You are? Nervous. Why are you nervous? nervous? Well, you know, well, there's a lot of expectation on this film, and uh, I really love it. And when I really like something, uh, I get nervous to share it with everyone. That, well, it is like your baby. You've, you've been working so hard on these films for so long. Right. Um, is there a highlight from your time here at Marvel Studios that is your absolute favorite? sort of favorite moment of sharing with the fans? Well, it's, it's all been a favorite moment from the beginning. It's truly been a remarkable experience. And I can't really speak about the film uh, specifically because all of it is a spoiler. So if I say <laughs> anything, I'll be spoiling and I'll get in trouble. They'll yank me off the stage. Right. But we I don't would, want you getting in no, trouble, no, no, that's we, for sure. I can't get but in trouble. How about talking about how great it feels that after 11 years, this particular, particular chapter is closing and you're beginning a new chapter. Yeah, it, it, it's truly remarkable. It's quite sad in a way, too, because not only is this film a culmination of the 21 films that preceded it, but myself, Kevin, and Victoria have been there from the beginning. And, uh, and uh, our personal journeys sort of mirror, mirror the, uh, the films a little bit. So uh, I've seen this film 40, 50 times, oh and I've, oh I've choked up every time. I've actually wow. had tears in my eyes a number of times. Oh, well, now I can't wait to see it, and I know so many people want to speak with you tonight, so congratulations, right. and thank you thank for you your so wonderful much. contribution. Thank you. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. Well, look who's, look who's over here. We have wow. some friends just chatting, catching up, but Elizabeth Olsen is here, our own Scarlet Witch. Yes. She did not make it through the snap, we know. But she no. did come show up tonight. As the family oh tends gosh, to hello. do. Hello. Hi. Hi, come on I over. didn't recognize you without yeah. dust all over you and things like that. I know. <laughs> <Too> <laughs> Is it too bangs soon? And a lot of people don't recognize you after you get bangs. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I'm so glad to see you here tonight. We had one of the most harrowing moments with Wanda and Vision at the end of Infinity War. Yeah. I'm so curious. What was it like working with Paul Bettany to find that moment? He and I have had the greatest time just working on every single thing we've gotten to do in the Marvel land. And that day specifically between Paul, Brolin, and I, it was just such a fun day. The Russo brothers let us improvise a bit as well. And it was it was an awesome day at work. It was really fun. And it was really with the best people you could work with. When... You get cast in a superhero movie. You're thinking CGI. You're thinking superpowers. You aren't necessarily thinking real emotion. But throughout the course of your time at the MCU, you've had some incredibly emotional moments and personal loss. Yeah. Did you know that going into it? Yeah. I mean, she is notorious for having really bad things happen to her. <laughs> She's the <laughs> ultimate survivor. And... She, so that's, that's the only thing I can think of her. Just like she has all her power, I think, comes from her huge amount of empathy as well and her ability to feel and care and love. But so do all these characters. But it's I'm, it's funny being always the sad girl. <laughs> I don't get all the funny bets. <laughs> she might have some very sad moments, but we get to go on that roller coaster with her, ride with her. Yeah. She's also like kind of a sick badass. Yeah, she yes. is. I mean, come on now. Uh, as far as the stunts go, you've gotten to do some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Is there one that was your favorite in your time? I love every time they put me on the wires to fly <laughs> or to get whipped by, get hit by something. I love being on a ratchet. I love being in a harness and flying around. It's my, I, it's so fun and exhilarating. I don't like roller coasters, and this is my controlled <laughs> adrenaline rush. <laughs> Did you have to do any special training like beforehand in terms of working out or change a diet or anything like that? I do it just for fun they don't really require us to do any of that they just assume that we'll figure it out whatever works for us and the character which is really nice because you hear other things from other companies but marvel never asks those things of you but i love training i work with the dance choreographer for scarlet which is choreography and so we now have a really easy language physically together and we i got to work more with the stunt team this time around and that was really fun doing getting to do that prep work and and also prepping for flying and all that. Well, we love you, and your performance is no doubt magical. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank Enjoy you. your night. And congratulations. I've seen it. I'll see it there, so we're in the same boat. <laughs> Have Enjoy so much night. fun. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you. Thank you. 
And now, you know what? There's so much happening here on the carpet. Yes. Tamara Krinsky has the lowdown on the coolest Lego setup, I think, ever. Tamara, what's going on over there? One of the best things about Marvel Studio premieres, no, again, I said studio. <laughs> One of the best things about Marvel Studios premieres are all of the amazing things we get to see on the red carpet. And Lego has put together something truly spectacular for the Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame premiere. Right here, we've got the Avengers A sign and four custom pieces. We've got Hulk's hands, Captain America's shield, Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet, and Iron Man. Each of these pieces was put together using custom elements from actual LEGO play sets scaled up to 25 times their original size. Now, it took a lot to build this whole thing. We're talking 44,800 LEGO bricks and 270 hours of build time. That's some serious build time. The A, which is seven and a half feet tall, took 150 hours. And the prop that took the longest, Iron Man, clocking in at 40 hours. Somehow I, I kind of feel like Tony Stark would be proud of the fact that his took the longest. The quickest build was Captain America's shield, which was 12 hours, but still, that's some pretty serious build time. Now, LEGO wants you at home to be able to have your own special Marvel experience. So to commemorate the release of Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame, they have put together five new LEGO Marvel Avengers playsets, including Iron Man, Hall of Armor, and... Avengers Ultimate Quinjet, which I cannot wait to get my hands on. They're available online and in stores now. So check them out and build your end game. Now for even more, head over to lol.disney.com for a special Lego Marvel Avengers activity where you can play as one of your favorite Avengers. Well, we here on the red carpet always like to give you a little extra something special. So take a look at this behind the scenes video of how this was all put together. We're just uh, we're just here with Lawrence Fishburne talking about how we're gonna go build some Legos later. Let's go build yes. some Legos later. <laughs> there we go. Sorta, of, yeah. All right. You got 370 spare hours. Okay. There you yeah, go. Might as well. Build some Lego stuff. I have a lot more respect for people that play with Lego stuff. Yeah. Yes. That's, it's not playing. It's, it's constructing. Like construction. Yes. Construction. Yes. 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 Yeah. That's it's no. That's astounding. What, whatever. I can't wait to see it. All right. So now. Got to know, who are you most excited to see tonight on the carpet? Who have you not gotten to see since, of well, course, Marvel Studios, Ant-Man and the Wasp? I'm just, I, I got to be honest. I've, I've seen everybody and I know everybody. I just want to see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I respect Honestly, that. Honestly, it's the best policy. <laughs> I mean, you know, I know everybody. I love everybody. I've seen them on and off the carpet. I just want to see the movie. <laughs> do you have any hints? Two hours left to go. Do, do you pump the rest of the cast for information? Are you like, what are in your no, seat? No, 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 no. I've, I'm really just, I'm really very, just very cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I, I have a, a total fanboy question to ask yeah. you. So Ruthie Carter becomes the first person in the MCU to win an Oscar for costume design. You've worked with her for many, many years. Yeah, I worked with Ruth on her first work, on her earliest work. What was it like to see that moment in, in, in Marvel? It was, no, it was fantastic. I mean, just to be a witness to Ruth's career has been just, you know, a gift. And to be a part of, you know, her career is a gift. You're going to have to do that again. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Poor it's okay. It's okay. Um, but I'm I'm curious for you. Uh, in the Marvel universe, is there something that you were really drawn to as a young person? In, in I, the way of I read I read the books as a as a kid. I mean, I, I liked all of the books. I mean, um, I started reading comics probably as early as 1966. Mm-hmm. Good years. Comics, and I was living in New York City, so you know, say 66 through 75, I was I was reading, and that's when all the best of this stuff was was really happening. Absolutely. But this has got to be fantastic, Yeah, man. I mean, this is dream come true. So to actually be in one of the movies for me is like, I could, you know, I could quit right now. Well, we don't want you to, don't though. Do Thank you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do don't that. <laughs> Well, thank, well, you. thank you for talking to me. Oh, my gosh. Hey, thank you. And thank you for letting me talk to you. You guys have a, have a great night. Enjoy the movie. You too. You, go, go, go watch gonna and go, enjoy. Go geek out. Yes. All right. <laughs> As you should. I mean, that's the thing, is everyone in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Right. And it's nice to see even those stars who know all the other stars look at us and say, I just want to see the movie. <laughs> I know. I do, too. <laughs> I but do, too. Angelique, Tamara, how's it going down there? It's funny that you mentioned that everyone in the MCU is a fan because I am here with composer Alan mm-hmm. Silvestri, who is just telling me what a fan he is of Lawrence Fishburne. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. One of my all-time favorites. Such a huge part of the Marvel Studios yeah. movie experience is the music. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to finally be here? Well, it's, uh, it's the end of a journey, as uh, I think Mr. Stark talks about in the film. And it's amazing. I mean, it's, uh, it really is a journey. It had a beginning, certainly for me, with Captain America and then three Avengers films. And uh, we're all here. And, uh, and I think everyone's celebrating uh, having come through <laughs> on some level. Well, and I think tonight certainly is a crescendo mm-hmm. in, in this Marvel yeah. journey. Yeah. You know, as a fan, what are you most looking forward to seeing tonight here at the largest Marvel Studios premiere? Well, I, you know, I've watched um, Joe and Anthony Russo um, pour their hearts into this. And what I'm most looking forward to is finally being able to talk about it and, and finally being able to experience the fans getting a chance to see the movie. I mean, these filmmakers really cared about their fans, and, uh, and they're, I think they're going to love this film. It's, uh, it's made for them, with them at heart, well, in the greatest possible way. Well, I have to confess a little sort of trade behind the scenes secret. So when mm-hmm. we were having our production meeting for this amazing premiere mm-hmm. and we were watching some clips, every time a clip came on as it played out on that great orchestral swell of yours, mm-hmm. we all started humming along because we were so moved <laughs> by it. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, I've been given a tremendous opportunity through these amazing performances and these amazing filmmakers. Uh, And then we have this amazing room with 95 musicians and playing their hearts out. And it's all captured and it's all on that screen. So it's been an exciting journey for sure. Well, we are certainly fans of your work and we're certainly excited to see tonight Mm -hmm. that crescendo that is going to be Avengers in Marvel Studios' <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Well, I hope you love it. Thank you so much for Thank stopping and so talking to the fans. Have a great time All tonight. Right, we will. We All right. Well. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look and see what's going on with Lorraine and LZ at yeah. the other end of the carpet. All right. Everybody owes these gentlemen to my left their thanks because your contribution to the MCU is epic. How many films have you gotten to? I know you've written a, how many now? Technically six. six yeah. Technically six. How many have you gotten to consult on other films as well? A couple, you know, secretly. Six no. is enough. Six, six is plenty. Enough. I mean, yeah. Six is enough, and I believe in the credits that were eventually decided on, so six. Yeah. Six. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I have to say, I love your work with the Russo brothers. It's incredible. What do you like about working with them? Oh, it's good. Uh, the fact that there's two of us and two of them allows for different sort of team ups. It's not just us versus them. We cross pollinate a lot, uh, and we, you know, we look at movies the same way. I think. Yeah, and I think they've their background in TV actually makes them very collaborative. 
so that there isn't a dictatorial, I'm the director and I'm going to say what goes. It's basically come into the room, everybody sits there, nobody's in charge. It sounds chaotic, but it's actually very organic, and it, you get movies out of it. Four you, so far. Do you two mirror the Russo brothers in any capacity in terms of temperament? Or? A little bit, yeah. So I'm a little like Joe in that I'm a little relentless and uh, hyper-driven. Uh, and I would say Chris and Anthony are similar, where they sort of We're wait. both looking at our watches going, I think this has gone on long enough, don't you? I think we've talked about this. And I, you both wear glasses. There's that. Yeah, well, there, that, you'd be surprised how many of us wear glasses secretly. Oh. Uh, Secret super. No spoiler, heroes. spoiler alert. Well, I would love to keep you here all night because I want to know everything about Endgame, but there are so many folks who want to speak with you, so enjoy your night. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thanks Thank, for you, Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, my gosh. I mean, the contribution that they have added to the MCU is just mind-boggling. Absolutely. And the thing that's fascinating to me is the fact that you have four people trying to come up with this one perfect script, this one perfect way to shoot something. I mean, I know couples who can't get along to figure out how to go grocery <laughs> shopping together. You talk about four men in a room figuring out this complicated story. But I love the idea that they are able to team up in different ways. Oh my gosh, Karen Gillan, hello, oh, welcome. Hello. We're, we're live streaming to the Marvel fans right now. Hi, Marvel fans, how's it going? It's great, it's great. We gotta talk about Nebula, though. Yes, yes, yes we do. Because poor Nebula has been through the ringer. She lost her sister. How's she, how's she doing at the beginning of Endgame. Can you tell us? I mean, not great. I think that she was finally starting to form a connection with her sister. I think all that Nebula really wants is a family, a normal functioning family. Don't we and then all? that was kind of, I mean, right. We can all relate to Nebula yes. on that level. <laughs> and then it was ripped away from her. So she's, it's not her best moment for sure. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm looking at this outstanding, beautiful dress that you're wearing. Thank you. But I'm assuming it takes longer to become Nebula. <laughs> It takes a little longer to become Nebula, although not that much longer, which worries me. That in order to just look nice takes almost as long as it takes me to become completely blue and an alien. But there we go. Honestly, the role of human woman, I think, is a very hard one. I'm telling you, I've played that one, too, and it's, it's a hard one. Yeah. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I'm just going to step over here now. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Now, you get to team up with some more different Avengers in this film than you got to before. What was one of your favorite uh, moments on set it, that you can share? Not, Don't spoil the end game. No spoilers? Okay, so this is what happens. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine if this is where I just dropped it? Like I got this far and then just gave it all away? No, um, I can tell you that the cast were so lovely and warm and welcoming. And Robert Downey Jr. would host these lunches and invite all of us to come and, and eat with him. And that was just the most lovely thing because I didn't really know that many people in the cast and they had this sort of long running history. Um, and so it, it was lovely. Oh, I love that so much. Well, we want to talk to you all night, but there are also a whole bunch of people in a big circle yeah. behind us yes. that want to talk to you too. So cheers, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I can't wait to see this movie. Oh my gosh. I, I know. Too. I'm so excited. We'll see you in there. I'll see you in there. Tonight. All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, the role of human woman, though, still hard I was one. Just, you know, that, that baffled me. I thought she was going to say dressing as a woman would be easy, but apparently... It takes a lot of work. No, I'm not in the loop with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, there are lots and lots of fans here tonight, and I feel like we should put them to the test. Let's test their MCU knowledge. Mm. So we're sending out Ryan Panagos, a.k.a. Agent M, and Citizen Ambassador Josh Peck, who is also a huge MCU fan, to see if they've got what it takes to be a real fan. Hey, Marvel fans. I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Agent M, and I am joined by Josh Peck, Citizen Ambassador. How you doing, Josh? Sir, I am honored to be here with these incredible... They are not cosplaying around, am I right? Well done, <laughs> sir. So, we are doing a special trivia event with Citizen Watch, our live stream partners here. You guys ready for something fun, something cool? Yeah. It's great. Okay, so you're going to have 30 seconds, each of you. Josh is going to time you with his fancy Citizen Watch. Oh, my nifty Avengers watch. I'm ready. And so you're going to have 30 seconds to name as many movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as you can. Wow. A lot There's of no pressure. There's no wrong answers. A lot of pressure. You're going to be fine. You're going to be great. All right, you ready to Yes, time? sir. You're, you're ready to go first? Okay. Josh, you tell us when to start. Ready? Go. Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, <laughs> uh, Thor, Thor Dark World, um, oh my god, Wasp. Uh, no, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, obviously, um, and uh, Infinity War, um, Endgame, oh my god. 15 seconds, a lot of pressure. 
There's so many. Oh, and uh, Spider-Man. I know that's not an actual name. I am so Think blanking. sequels. Think ah! sequels. Uh, <laughs> three seconds left. Three no. seconds. Oh, oh, Civil War. Civil War. That's your time. <laughs> 11. I've got a count of 11. That's great, though. Wow. Well done. Give it up. Wow. OK, Beautiful. young lady. It's your turn. Josh, Yes. you let us know the time. OK. Ready and go. Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Thor, Thor the Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, um, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers, no, Captain America, Captain America Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, um, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers uh, Endgame. 10 uh, seconds. Um, um, the Incredible Hulk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Five um, seconds left, make it count. I, I, Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp. <laughs> <laughs> Done time! How many? 17? Unbelievable. 17! Wow. Wow. Josh, I feel like they were so good, they should both get a really cool prize. I love the way you think. Yeah. I love it. So, if I may. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. What? Enjoy. Well, congrats. You're welcome. You guys earned it. Josh, thank you for being here. Thank you. Unbelievable job, guys. Thank you to Citizen Watches. Back to you on the red carpet. Woo! Yeah. And hey, look at who we found, Victoria Alonso. As as we were chatting earlier, you are one of the founding parents of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, when you started, did you have any idea that you would be here tonight in this way? No, I think that we were hoping to get a chance to do one movie, <laughs> and then we were hoping that we would get a chance to do a second movie, and then a third, and then a fourth, and then we thought, oh, if we can get these four origin pictures into one called the Avengers, and then that sort of snowballed into like 13 years later for us, 10 years for the public, but we've been at it for quite some time, and um, tonight is very, very special. I, mean, I want to congratulate you just on simply changing the way that people look at Hollywood films now. I mean, women are opening films. Yes. Captain Marvel passed a billion dollars. Yes. I mean, women are not just opening films. They're just taking down the door and taking no prisoners. So uh, I say hello to all the women out there that are dreaming, wanting to be what they want to be. I say go for it. This is a time where you can actually take a dream and make something out of it. Um, and if anyone can be an example, I think Captain Marvel was uh, a perfect example. I want to take a minute to say hello to all of our crew that is over at El Capitan that was in, they didn't get a chance to come over here. So I just want to say hi to everyone. Aww. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that is there. You worked entire, entire three years into these two films. So I just want to say hello. We love you and we miss you over here. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much. We would love to talk to you all night. I want to pick your brain. I want to know all the secrets, but so many people want if to talk you, to you. If I stay, I'll tell you everything. Uh, uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're we're going to keep talking, but we're going to have to toss for just a minute. But thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you. the night. Congratulations. Congratulations. Of course. Everything. Cheers. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Oh, look, at, oh, yeah. look at who's here. Oh. Taika Waititi is causing trouble over wow. on the other podium. We you know. are here just having a party on our end of the carpet Absolutely. with Taika Waititi, director of Marvel Studios, Thor Ragnarok. Woohoo! Hi. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Is that it? Is that the interview? Is I that, mean, you're that, keeping all this purple nice... energy. You've brought in your excitement as a fan. As a uh, fan, Somebody yep. who's been on both sides of the camera. Both sides. Um, you know, what are you What are you most excited? I mean, you've you've come dressed in purple tonight. Yeah, well, um, I mean, on this one, so it feels like a little bit more of a kind of bluey, lilac-y kind of thing. But <laughs> let's say purple. Let's say purple. Let's say purple has been washed too much. <laughs> You're owed to Thanos. I mean, so a lot of the folks oh, that... Thanos is the man. Oh. oh. We have a Thanos fan. I don't know. Oh. I'm not giving anything away. No. Secret, secrets. He's good at keeping things confidential. You've got that Marvel Studios training. Yeah. Oh, yes. I did that training. Yep. It's a good training. The training is shut your mouth, Tiger. <laughs> well, and keep it shut. We want to make sure that while you're here, though, you also get to talk about, like, how much work has gone into this evening and being able to see all of your friends and family. I don't family. know. I didn't organize it. But I'm assuming from seeing how much carpet there is, there's a lot of carpet laying. The carpenters have done a humongous job. Um, and now I'd say it's the biggest uh, effort put in for the entire thing. Um, oh, there's the movie, of course. But, um, <laughs> and also, also, a lot of makeup. 
Mm. A lot of makeup, a lot of makeup. Are, are you feeling happy with your makeup job? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's fun. Yeah. We, can, we, we concur, right? I know. He looks fantastic. Uh, yeah. good. He looks fantastic. Yeah. 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 Now, wait. Speaking of reviews, you know, a, a lot of the folks that you worked with, you know, how do you think they did in fighting Thanos in Infinity War? What's your review on, on their fighting skills and such? Uh, have you seen it? Yeah. Not, not Endgame. No, I'm talking about Infinity right. I mean, so, Infinity War. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I guess I mean, they could do better. Yeah, like a little disappointed, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've never fought someone like that personally. <laughs> but, but... Yeah, you know, that's... No words of advice? It was a bummer for, for about half of them. Right. Advice? No. No, 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 I don't give advice anymore. I've <laughs> learnt better. All right. Well, since you can't give advice and your reviews are done, we're going to send you. You want Boogie me to go? In. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna I send can't you. help you. I should leave. <laughs> he knows his place. He's a good director. You know what? I, I thank you so much. You know, I think we should go ahead and we're going to keep partying down here on our end of the carpet, and we're going to toss back over to LZ and Lorraine. Hey, LZ and Lorraine. <laughs> Three. <laughs> All right. Here From we go. Taika. To me. Kevin Feige, the president, is here. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Hello, sir. Hi. I have to say, huge night. Huge night. And we're we're coming off of, not to bring it down, but we're coming off of a big loss for the Avengers. What made you say, you know what, let's let our, our heroes lose? Oh, I thought you were going to say, what, what made you make another movie after that? <laughs> <laughs> no. That would have been a hell of a way to end. Oh. Permanently. I would have been ruined. Permanently. Yeah, I was already in tears. You want me in tears for like the rest of the summer? No, I don't, and beyond, sir. Beyond? No, okay. I don't. We can't take that. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> what made you think I'm gonna let, we're gonna let our heroes lose? That was sort of the idea from inception of doing of doing this. Thanos means business. We had been teasing him for many years, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes people think the heroes always win. They think that's what happens in these movies. And um, we thought it'd be fun to show that that's not what always happens. Not only was it fun, it was brave. I mean, you just don't see the protagonist lose. People aren't used to that. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And I will say, it, it, uh, the emotional response that that brought out of the audience was amazing. And, it, and not that I like to see people uh, cry or children cry necessarily, but I like it when it's a testament to what Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and all of the artists and writers from Marvel Comics and the entire cast and all the filmmakers leading up to what Joe and Anthony have brought home in, in that ending of Infinity War, that, that everything they achieved, that's what people were responding to. Uh, and that meant a lot. And, and it's so well earned, so well earned. I mean, a delicious defeat. <laughs> but I'm excited for Endgame. I know we haven't said too much about the genre, but you have said that it's going to feel separate in some ways from Infinity War or like a different film. Yeah. Why was that? I think we wanted to have two distinct experiences. You know, they're, they're movies that have been done, uh, uh, shot around the same time and, and had been sort of half a movie and half a movie. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want to do that. We wanted to have a, a, an entire movie, which is, you know, some people call Infinity War cliffhanger. We call it, no, just Thanos won. And he was very content at the end of that movie. Yeah, his, he was. His, his journey was complete there. <clears throat> and Endgame, which we can't say too much, but is also a very distinct experience. And that was, uh, was what uh, our writers, Chris and Steve, and our, and our directors, Joe and Anthony, and all of us worked very hard to do. So I can't wait for people to finally see it. Do you have, like, an app on your phone so you know what you can and what you can't say? Because you're involved with so many films. That would be a good idea <laughs> for, the, for the cast, for, for uh, a couple <laughs> particular members of our cast to have an app. So every time they, they, they get a question asked, they just look at it. That's a go. good idea. We check in. We'll work on developing it for you guys. Idea. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Good seeing you as always. Thanks. Always. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, my gosh. The man with all of the secrets. He knows it all. I, I want to see this movie. It's, it's driving me crazy. I know. And listen to everyone else being so passionate about it. Speaking of passion, I think our cohorts on the other stage got somebody with them right now. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> All right, we are here oh my with Linda Cardellini. Hello, welcome Hi. to the Marvel's Avengers Endgame premiere. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for having me here. So tonight is going to be a night of girl power. There are going to be a bunch of amazing superheroes on screen tonight that are going to yes. be fighting. You know, it's women's empowerment. Do you have anything, any, any words of encouragement tonight as we go into this, this new chapter? I'm just excited to watch everybody kick butt, you know? <laughs> and uh, and also, it's just, you know, it's bittersweet. It's the end, so. But I'm really excited about all the women out there. 
I want to talk to you a little bit about secret keeping because when okay. you when you first appeared in the MCU, <laughs> it was a huge secret. I mean, we yes. couldn't even interview you on the carpet right. because it was such a big secret. Right. So what's it been like moving from that and then seeing the public reception of your character? It's been great. People yell out, hey, Hawkeye's wife. <laughs> um, no, it's been wonderful. I mean, to be a part of this, it's so gigantic. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It's overwhelming and beautiful. Well, well yeah. you go. Hey, well, we're going to let you um, get to the rest of the carpet and see the rest of the folks and find out all of the secrets tonight now. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping and talking to the fans. We really Thank appreciate you. it. All right, have a great Bye. time. All right, stage one, what is going on down at your end of the carpet? Impeccable. Thank you. Try. Oh, my gosh. Shuri is here. Hello. Leticia Wright, how are you doing this I'm evening? Very well. I'm coming here. I don't know what to expect, um, but I'm having a good time already. Okay. We got to talk some tea right now. Yes. Which is, we saw the posters, yes. and there was an outcry. What was it like for you? It was, it was surprising. Um, <laughs> I saw everybody in, like... Uh, you know, the colored photos, you know, colored posters. And then I saw myself in gray. And I was like, you, I just died out of nowhere. Um, and I think the whole of Twitter was really upset. So I kind of logged off and, and didn't log back on. So I'm waiting to see how that came together and how that panned out tonight. Well, it's because we love you. Thank you. Of yeah, I love has, you guys too. <laughs> was it a bit of a surprise to know that your character, even though it wasn't top bill for Black Panther, yeah. to be one of the favorites coming at the end of the film? It was a major surprise. One that I thank God for is just I went to set every day wanting to give my best, wanting to work hard, and to see that, that result and that love, you know, I didn't expect it but I, I thank God for it, and now I feel a part of the family. So hopefully, you know, if the, it was, at the end of this film, I'm, I'm trying to see what happens. Maybe, I might not get to continue, but let's see what happens. Well, I do know that I loved seeing you get to team up with the Avengers in yeah. Infinity War, yeah. and I love particularly when you school the boys, yeah. the science bros. A any chance that Shuri would like to hang with those guys just in general? Yeah, I think that would be, that would be really good, but you know, the way this film is set up, um, we don't know what's going to happen, so let's watch it, April 26, fingers crossed, and see what the Russo brothers has cooked up for us. And yeah, hopefully, we'll, hopefully in the future we can sit down with these guys, you know? You know, I have to say, and forgive me for doing this, but your iconic line, what are those, forces me each and every time I see you yeah. to look at your shoes. Yeah. Once again, you came correct, the shoe game remains strong. Do you feel yeah. pressure to do that? Oh, oh. my gosh! And Hello, darling. Oh. Palm, hello. Wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. We, we were doing a shoe game and, and, and looking at what are those, and you look great. I love when you say, what are those in uh, Black Panther? <laughs> it's my favorite part of the movie. How are you? Good, and you? Nervous. What's happening yeah. in this film? I don't know. Do, do you, so we have established you don't know too much, but do you have any secrets? Don't tell us. Don't spoil the end game. I don't know. I don't know anything. Okay, that's great. Safe. That's, that's safe. That's my voice two days ago, so, you know. Yeah. It, that's Thanos. Thanos was yeah. demanding your silence completely. <laughs> I'm very curious. Is there are such many peaks and valleys emotionally throughout Affinity War. What was the toughest scene for you as an actress to emote? Uh, in Infinity War? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, don't remember when I was in... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when I was on, uh, you know, when I was on uh, Thanos' shoulders, you know, it was like, like just reliving all the anguish and what, you know, like all the the mourning stuff, you know, and it was like very physical too. So yeah, but that was fun too. <laughs> well, and I'm sure that was fun to shoot. I assume you did not sit on Josh Brolin's shoulders, though. I, I did for a few takes, and <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. You know, he's a strong man. He's been training. Uh, he's been training a lot. <laughs> And uh, I've done it with him. I've done it with a stunt double. I've done it with a fake person. You know, like all these. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I want to stand on people. I want to sit on people's shoulders. All right. Well, we're going to go right, find fine. somebody right, for you guys. Here. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Enjoy the night. Thank you. Go watch the movie and find out how it ends. Okay. Good you. luck. Congratulations. Enjoy. Congrats. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, 
It is just a party. That's one of the things I love is everyone's just catching up, yes. getting to see each other for the first time in a while. What I fun. I thought one of those was just my favorite line. Apparently, everyone loves that line. I know. It looks like, oh my gosh, uh, number one troublemaker is here in the Marvel uh, Universe, I think. Falcon. Oh my gosh. Hi, Anthony. You're Howell. just as beautiful in person as you are online. You wow. are a big he Marvel came fan. correct with the game. You saw that? You saw that? <laughs> Come on. I see, I see, I see, I see. No. I see. Right, you. Just the suit, I homie. <laughs> I do know that. Urban moment. We're back. Yeah, We're, back. We're back. Yeah, that We're back. That was Wakanda. Back. We're back. Forever. Now. <laughs> now, I know though that you are a big Marvel fan. Like you watch the videos, you check out the stuff. Yep. What are you excited for tonight? What is your inner Marvel fan excited for tonight? Uh, I'm excited to see the uh, end result of two and a half years of work and waiting. Uh, I got my tickets for Thursday, so I'm going to see it with a real audience Thursday night. But tonight, you know, it's just like friends and family. No matter what, at a premiere, you always think you did a good movie. Because everybody's like, that's the best movie ever. So I'm just <laughs> waiting for people to think it's the best movie ever. Can you talk a little bit about the family environment? Man, let's talk about some sports, man. I mean, we could talk about some sports, <laughs> but then that'd be a different show. LZ <laughs> is great at talking about sports, so. He's very, very, very well-spoken brother about sports. That's Thank all you. I'm going to say. Thank you I enjoy much. I enjoy But as I was saying, the family part, though. Right. Because as an actor... It's kind of isolating, right? You bounce from project to project. You don't right. necessarily see the same people over and over again, but this right. was different. Well, with this was it's really like a team amazing. in sports. Yeah. <laughs> with Marvel, what I really enjoy, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, getting the group, getting the band back together every year. You know, and some people have gotten married. Some people have gotten divorced. Some people have kids. Some people are just the same, you know, street runners that they were before. It's just like we all have evolved into something different you know, every time we come together to do these movies. So it's always b a great to reconnect with your friends. Uh, speaking of speaking evolving. Of reconnecting with your friends. Oh. Right. How long has it been since you've seen each other? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Like and a year. Last time we finished. Yeah. Well, <laughs> last time we shot. When we finished. When we finished. Anyway, yeah, it makes sense. Huh? It's a great suit. Um, That's a great buddy, suit. I mean. Well, you know, I have to do the three-piece for the yeah, people. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's nice, something for nice, the people. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> We know that the Russos have planned long and hard for the film. How long did it take you to put this outfit together, brother? You come in. This is uh, Etro, mate. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, they, they were like, is it too much? I was like, it's not nah. enough. More, 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 if anything. In the words of the great poet, so, Busta Rhymes, you think yeah. I had enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, we're talking about avenging the fallen. Are you going to avenge Falcon, or is there someone else you're really looking to avenge? He's here, right? He's here. Right. Like, well, I did, we, we, uh, the, the job is done. The job is done, right? <laughs> who else is there? And who else am I standing next to? And who else would I like to be standing next to? Nobody, is it? That's it. So, that's, the, that's it. It's within that's the, the question there, isn't it, right? <laughs> <laughs> and within the, <laughs> within the, uh, the presence of who's in this frame right now. That kind of sums it up. That's it. <laughs> the, the thing that's been so incredible for us as fans to watch is the journey of Thor. Not just physically, but emotionally. You've gone from having it all, including long hair, to having <laughs> right. short hair and losing it all. Yeah. What was it like for you as an actor to see your character develop film by film like that? It was good. I mean, most of it was just out of... I think my own sort of boredom of, you know, we, we, most of us have done this six or seven times now and coming back again and again. And I just got to a point where it's like, to creatively, I need to, to, to kind of break free of what was starting to feel familiar and do something different and unique. And, and thankfully the Russos, you know, they, they said, yep, we're with you and had a whole different plan. And this has been a, each time has been different, but the, these last two films in particular. So it's been fun. Now there have been a lot of surprises in the MCU over the last few years, but for both of you, what was your most surprising moment in your time of filming? When I died. <laughs> yeah, okay. when, when he died. <laughs> you know, we didn't. We never read the script. Like we all got given our individual yeah. bits. And I'm at the movies. I don't know, at the premiere. I was like, what? <laughs> Him too? There's nothing worse than the day of work that you show up to oh. and find out you're unemployed. Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Oh my gosh, we're up there. Hail, hail the gang's there all here. Mark Ruffalo, happy Earth Day. Look at that. Come on. Look at these suits. Okay, we gotta say, it's Earth Day. The Hulk is green. Is it kind of like the Hulk's day? 
I guess that's yeah. what it is. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. nah, it's a happy Earth Day, everybody. It's a big one. Uh, save it and take care of it, yeah. please. Right, we, were, we, have it. we were talking earlier about Thor's progression as a character. Your character as well goes through a lot over the course of the 11 years. Yeah. What has been your favorite peak? Uh, I think what you're going to see in this next one is probably the uh, my, my favorite, the, the ultimate part of it all. Yeah. That's a tease. Oh, I like good. that. That's that was good. good. I think it's kind of a crescendo for not just the entire universe, but all of us kind of, this is it. We kind of take a big swing in this one. and It is called Endgame. That's it. Mm. For a reason. Yeah. They, they do say some stories have ends, some have end games. <laughs> now, I need to know, who here has an Avengers tattoo? Got, I got Mark's face on my back, and he got... His face on, on my yeah. back -ish. And they're, scratch, they're scratch and sniff ones. So, I smell like Ruffalo, he smells like me. And I just got myself tattooed on myself so I can look at myself. Yeah, I can rock with your tattoo. Right? Right, that, that makes sense to me. What okay. just happened over here, I'm not quite okay. sure about. <laughs> I got a tattoo of my face tattooed on my face. <laughs> yes. The line work is that impeccable. That way you never age. I like that. There you go. <laughs> it's the greatest tattoo I've ever seen. Oh, Were you yeah. able to... It's actually Robert Downey, but he's got the Mark Ruffalo's tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Were you able to see any parts of the film at all? Or are you coming the in completely trailer. blind? That was nice. We saw the trailer. <laughs> yeah, it was, I, I that was not right seen it? Have you seen anything? No. I saw a five and a half hour version of the movie. Did you really? Now? Yeah, I, I did. Really? I did. It was good. How was it? It was good. It was a good five hours. <laughs> it was like watching a Tom Hanks movie about war. So, <laughs> if you lose three hours, do you feel like, you've, you, yeah, you feel like it falls apart? No. Nah. Did you miss anything? That's the problem. I was like, let, that shit, let it run for five hours, <laughs> man. It's a mission. No yeah. intermission, yeah. let it run. Let it run. Let it run. You have to use the bathroom, hold it. Yeah. There you go. You're like sitting that. in the movie, <laughs> Cheeto's talking. You go to the bathroom, you come back, Cheeto's still talking. <laughs> let it run. Wear a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> wear a diaper. Wear a diaper. Bring, bring some diapers and some Kleenex boxes. Yeah. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Just anything to wipe anything up. You guys, thank you so much for talking with us. Enjoy your night. Get into lots of trouble. Yeah. You deserve to get to have all the fun tonight. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh my gosh, well, Tamara and Angelique, what are you girls getting into over there? We are here with Bob Iger, chairman and CEO of the Walt Disney Company. I, I was just watching you watch the interview that just happened with this look of pride and excitement in your eyes. It's an incredible night for Disney, for Marvel Studios. How are you feeling? Well, that's how I feel. It is an incredible night. Uh, for me, having watched the film a number of times and knowing just how big, how great how satisfying, how impactful it is. I can't wait to share it with the world, which is, really begins tonight. And I've had many experiences like that, but I'm not sure that I've had any as big as this one tonight because of what it represents in the canon that is Marvel. Absolutely, and what we know is it's always about the fans, and that's what you love about the yeah. movies, is at the end of the day, it's big storytelling, it's big characters. What are you most looking forward to fans getting to see in this new chapter in the story? Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't really start by saying that the fans are really what fuels us. You know, when we first bought Marvel in 2009, one of the things that we discovered right away was just how enthusiastic, how committed, how involved, how interested in Marvel the fans were. And that has given us a lot of energy and commitment and, and, um, and desire to continue to raise the bar for them in terms of pleasing them. It's great. It's a great feeling. Well, something that I wanted to ask you about. You recently gave a wonderful speech about the need for a civility in our world. And something that strikes me is that the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that's sort of something they're also always looking for, teaming up, working together, making the world a better place. So I'm curious about your thoughts on, on those themes. Well, I have very strong thoughts about that. And, uh, you know, I worry at times, although well, tonight's not necessarily a night to worry you know, about the state of our world today. And there's just way too much contempt, there's way too much hatred, there's way too much intolerance. And we've got to figure out a way as a world to start getting along better. It sounds trite, I know, but the, the dialogue is more coarse than ever before. We tend to be far more dismissive of anybody that disagrees with us. We tend to be much less tolerant than we used to be. That's not a good thing. And I think what Marvel says, it really it speaks in, in volumes 
is the value of teamwork, yeah. um, the love and respect of friendship and family, and, um, and just generally a belief that uh, it takes a village in many respects, you know, to save the world. And that's what we, we need that. We need that attitude to be more per pervasive. Well, thank you so much for helping to bring this incredible world to the fans and birthing this village. Have a wonderful time tonight. You thank deserve you this. Much. Have a good night. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you so much. He definitely said it. It is all about teamwork. And we know we got a couple of team members on the other end of the carpet. What's going on down there with you, LZ and Lorraine? Oh, uh, we're just uh, hanging out with Paul Rudd. Paul How's it going, Paul? Rudd. It's going really well, thank you. How are you? Oh how's your gosh. How's your evening? We're great. We're hanging out with this A yeah. behind us, spinning around. Yeah. But I need to know, you know, you didn't get into the Infinity War. Is And neither did Jeremy Renner, a.k.a. Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. You guys just spending dad time doing dad tips? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of a lot of barbecues, uh, a lot of uh, th just tossing the ball. Oh, nice. Yeah, and uh, quality time with the kids. Got one of those things. It's like three bars, and you throw the weighted rope, and it spins around, and you hope to catch it. A yo-yo? No, it's not a it's not a yo-yo. It's a lawn game. It's kind of like uh, it's like a poor man's cornhole. Okay. And that's the uh, yeah. That's the second time I've said that in the last ten minutes. Right. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you know, your, your character, Ant-Man, is so interesting because in a lot of ways he provides comic relief, but he also has been paramount to the overall story moving forward. I'm assuming that's more of the same? I don't know. I haven't what? seen this thing yet, so I'm either? really excited oh. to see. I just hope I made the cut. He yeah. has said, I've well, I've never seen you in the donated. trailer, so I feel like your odds are pretty good. It's still I'm pretty good. I'm really betting that I made it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, even, if it's, even if it's just one of those fake trailers and I made it in. My question is, how do you feel, how does Ant-Man feel about Okoye? Because Okoye! And she's I'm I'm usually not it. a gate crasher, you know, I like, you know, not to gate crash Very, folks very happy parties. you're crashing. But, yeah. I, I imagine they're happy, too, yeah. judging by my answers that you showed up. <laughs> no, we not true at all. You had one of the most gut-wrenching scenes for me as you're holding Chitala's hand and your face as he disappears. Absolutely magic. It's a traumatic thing, man. It was a traumatic, it was some traumatic mess at the end of that movie. For everybody, you know, it's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool, Thanos. No, not cool. That we go. Yeah. Let's not talk about him. Now, in the big battle in Wakanda at the end of Infinity War, I have a feeling you had an idea that some people were going to turn to dust. When did you find out that you were going to be potentially stuck in a quantum realm? Well, I knew for a while what was going to happen, just by the you know, just by the schedule and how we were shooting and then also writing. So I, I had a, I had a, I, you know, I had a little bit of a clue before uh, so some people. This is your fault. No, no, this has, this is not <laughs> my fault. And you didn't tell nobody. And so week, yeah. we couldn't prepare. It felt like government secrets. That was, happened. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. I had to, uh, you know, sign the form. You know that form. Right. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank Enjoy you. your night. Have thank so much, much fun tonight. Thank you. Nice thank you. Cheers. All right, I'll go. All right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, you can hang out. I mean, <laughs> we love right, right, to have you. We're not kicking you off stage. We're just other people have asked for you. Just me. They asked for you. We would keep you forever. <laughs> Deny. Well, that Ant Man's okay. a sensitive one, huh? I have to say. I am living for Okoye always. She is such a badass. But I need to know, there's that moment that she gives the stink eye to Hulk, to Bruce oh. Banner in the in the Hulkbuster. How does she feel about these Avengers? Well, listen, she just doesn't know them well. You know, listen, her job and her mission and her passion is to protect Wakanda. And it's also now as an extension of how Wakanda has incorporated itself into the world. Yes, to protect the world because we are the most equipped to do it. Uh, so she definitely is a part of that mission. But these are some new compadres. Right. You know, right. she's um, getting used to them. You don't they're, know these they're, people. They're, they're a motley crew. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this guy's a little big and a little clumsy. And, you know, Okoye is many things, but she is not clumsy. No, no she gets no. it done. The side little, eye was epic. Yeah, she's just, she's just a little like, what, what, what is that? You know, what's, can, he, can, he get, can he get it together? Can we use him or do we need to leave him somewhere? Well, you know. we're, I hope we find out tonight how they do. I hope they live up to Okoye standard. I know I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Enjoy okay. the night. Congrats. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. See you guys. Bye. Oh my gosh, I live for Okoye, but absolutely, and you're so spot on. I mean, that side eye that she gives the Hulk 
<laughs> it's oh, so epic. Delicious, but <laughs> it's amazing. Angelique Tamara, I hear you might have made a new friend. What's going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I have been making friends around the carpet with all the cool installations. There is so much cool stuff it's here so on this amazing. purple carpet, right? Yeah, because you were talking about the Lego sets earlier, but there also is a really cool, amazing um, installations that are going on besides that, right? Yeah, there's an incredible Comic Cave installation where we get to see the digits, which are the finger puppets, as well as their incredible collectible figurines, 14 inches to 16 inches. So they really got something for everybody, whether it's the little finger puppets that you get to play with for your everyday fan or something for a more serious collector. Uh. I see Thanos, I see Nebula, we've I got love Captain that rocket. Marvel. Look at that. And you know what? If Thanos was that adorable, I might not be that scared. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't know. I think it's all a cover. It's all a front. He gets in looking adorable and then... He faked you out. Snap. Dust. Gone. You got, you got to stop snapping. I just It just makes me nervous. I'm sorry. No, no trigger warning. Trigger warning. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's one of the great things about the carpet tonight. Mm -hmm. There's so much excitement. There's so many stars. But also, there's so much expression and love for these characters that we're so vested it in. Absolutely. All right. So talking about that, I'm curious about what is happening on the other end of the carpet. Oh, well, oh, look who we well. found. Uh, <laughs> a real goddess in my book, Tessa Thompson. Hello. Hello. I have to say, so many of us, our hearts breathed a huge sigh of relief when we saw your poster and we knew you were alive. When, what did you feel when you found out you were you were going to make it? I mean, elated like the fans. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people inside of Marvel have said that sometimes you don't actually know what's happening to your character. So I love Valkyrie. I love playing her. So the idea that she could stick around a bit longer and hopefully try to defeat Thanos was obviously very exciting to me. What was it like the first day back on set? I mean, it was incredible. We were shooting in Scotland, so in the most beautiful terrain. Um, and just to get back together with people that I'd worked with before. I mean, I don't want to give too many spoilers that you know who my scenes are with, but some familiar faces and then some unfamiliar faces getting to know. It's just an extraordinary group of people. And making these films, you know, there's upwards of 70 of us. So there's some days where we're shooting on all these different stages and you get to walk around and just hang out and meet people and get to know people and see your old friends. So it really feels like a superhero summer camp. And now I'm much better with a cape than I was the first time around. So <laughs> I want to go to super training. <laughs> I want to go to superhero summer camp. It sounds so fun. It's pretty great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go see if I can sign up. Thank you so much. Enjoy the night. Congratulations. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Oh Thanks, gosh. fan. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait. Thank you so much. I want to see Valkyrie kick Thanos' butt yes. so much. It's what I want. Angelique, Tamara, I hear there's something going on down there. What's happening? Oh, you know, just a little white wolf, winter soldier, Bucky Barnes, right. Sebastian Stan. Yes. yes. Hello. Hello. So welcome. We were, the three of us were just talking about the massive size and scope of this purple carpet. How does it feel to be here at an event this size that's so big and huge? I mean, I can't, like, my neck is already hurting because I'm just turning left and right, you know. Like, that's the man right there, the, the only one that's responsible for everything, Kevin Feige. So um, it's, it's been pretty eventful. I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect from, from tonight's film. So I, I'm, I'm just excited to be here and just uh, see what happens. Well, the last movie had a very emotional ending right. uh, for a lot of us, particularly for Bucky Barnes, uh, the Winter Soldier. Right. You know, if you could give any advice tonight to Steve Rogers, if Bucky Barnes could talk to Steve. Steve Rogers. What, um, would, what would you say? Or what would you know, Bucky Steve say? Rogers is always going to be Steve Rogers. He's going to do no matter what anybody tells him, even when he was a kid. You know, he used to just not listen and uh, go and defend himself and the world. He's got a big heart. So I will probably just say, follow your heart, buddy. You're going to be all right. Good advice. You know, another thing I'm curious about. So you've seen Steve be a friend to Bucky till the very end. There's, right. very you know, loyal. There's been some strife between Tony and Steve. Like, are you hoping to see that mended? Um, I am hoping to see that mended between the two of them. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm sure they'll figure it out, though, though uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of hot water there, so I don't know. 
Amazing. Well, we will all see tonight at yeah, we the will. world premiere. <laughs> uh, tonight is the night for the truth. Absolutely. Well, we cannot wait to see it. We're going to send you on your way so you okay. can get into that Thank theater and see excited. what happens. Thank you for Marvel time. fans are the best of fans forever. Absolutely. All right. Have a great Thank time. you, guys. Thank you. You heard it right there. Marvel fans are the best fans. Absolutely. All right. Let's take a look and see what's going on down with Lorraine and LZ and elsewhere on our carpet. Well, we're here with someone who always hits the mark, Mr. Jeremy Renner. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful. It, you've been kicking some butts, it looks like, in these trailers. We don't know a ton about the end game, but how was it for you physically working on this film? Uh, like all the movies, it requires, requires a lot. And um, even more, uh, it's just like 21 films built to this 22nd film. So there's a lot of uh, companionship and there's love and loss. And there's a lot, whole lot of things that are also challenging outside the physical. This is gonna, I can't wait to see the film. I know nothing about it. <laughs> so I can't tell you anything about it, except you, to have a bow and arrow. I think I have a bow and arrow, I can tell you You've that. been in a number of the films. Do you guys, the original Avengers, have your own language at this point? Were you no, we have our own the... tattoos together. <laughs> we have tattoos now, the A6, man. The original six got uh, tattoos together by the artist, the tattoo artist who designed it, and then we tattooed him. Uh, wait, you tattooed him? Uh, yeah, actors. Oh tattooed the tattoo artist, which is, <laughs> it looked like, you know, maybe my daughter did it, you know? <laughs> we, I'm not sure we did such a good job on him, but um, it was a symbolism of, of our friendships and the love that we have for each other, and it's the best takeaway of the last decade of our lives is the friendship that I have with the Chris's and Scar and uh, everybody, in, in, down in everybody, so it's... Um, yeah, that's the greatest takeaway in all this. so beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Enjoy yeah. your night. Enjoy the party. Yeah, Everybody I'm wants wait. to talk to you. Otherwise, we keep you all night. I can't wait. wait thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He goes, he's jumped off the stage. It's live. He's Anything can happen. He's still in shape from the movie, obviously. I know. That was total Hawkeye move I right know. There. It really was. <laughs> that was. We're getting our action right here on the carpet all by ourselves. You know, that's the thing that I love about being on the red carpet. It's live. Anything can happen, and it looks like Speaking oh my gosh! Anything can happen. Hello, oh Captain, oh, my wow. Captain Brie Larson. Hello, it's so lovely to see you again. Thanks. Hello there, billion dollar woman. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Did you know a fan broke a Guinness World Record on your film? What is this like for you? I did hear that. I'm honored. I'm honored. I've never watched anything that I'm in that much before, so I'm like <laughs> completely amazed that anyone would want to look at my face for that long. I also read that he has a record for drinking the most, for drinking a gallon of gravy. So I think this guy is oh, very cool. He's committed. He's very, He's very cool. committed. Yeah. That's for sure. No, you filmed Endgame before Marvel Studios Captain Marvel, correct? Yeah, that's right. That's great. What was it like walking into the Avengers on the first day? Here's Mackie. Hi. <laughs> um, I mean, totally surreal. I'm, I'm really excited to talk about it more once the film's out and I can sort of explain what my first day was like, the first things that we shot, what I was thrown into, because it's completely surreal and I've spoken to no one about it. I haven't even told my family about what I did. <laughs> so I've been afraid to write about it in my journal, so <laughs> I'm excited for this to come out. There are so many great references to the 90s and 80s in Captain Marvel. Had you been any blockbuster video store before that moment? Yes, it's like my earliest memories are blockbuster <laughs> videos. It's like the first time I understood what indecision and anxiety felt like we're at Blockbuster. <laughs> no, I have to say something that I really love is we only get a little taste of Captain Marvel, but we get to see this moment with Thor where they lock eyes. What was it like on set? Because Hemsworth seems to be a little bit of trouble and a little bit of fun. Yes, he's all of those things. Well, I'm also walking into uh, a very tight-knit family, and so I felt really grateful that they were so welcoming right away so I felt really comfortable and we just had fun and it was a great way for me to learn and get the ropes for all of this before I went off on my own. Wow. We're very excited to see you tonight. Thank you and congratulations. No, congratulations. Thank you. Good to see you. And good you look you. amazing. Have a good night. Thank good night. I, I mean, she's, come on, Captain she's Marvel. She's personified, is she not? She <laughs> is indeed. And there's so much happening on the carpet. I'm sure you can hear it. Angelique, Tamara, how's it going down there? Hi, we are actually 
here on the carpet right now with a very, it's okay, it's okay. very, very special guest. We have Neil Kirby, the son of Jack Kirby. Uh, for those who are huge comic book fans, for those who are huge fans of the Avengers, obviously tonight is such a legacy celebrating your father's work. How does it feel to see that legacy all around you right now? Uh, it's, it's just incredible. It really is. I know my father would just be... Um, I, I don't even. I couldn't even describe how he would feel just seeing all his characters on the screen the way it is right now and all at once, especially with the Avengers. Um, just you know, absolutely amazing. Uh, he saw every one of his comic books as a basically as a storyboard for a movie, and he knew it would happen someday. And here it is. And, Wish he was here to see it, but... Well, you just actually gave me the perfect lead-off to something Angelique and I were talking about a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. which is this idea that movie technology has now gotten to the point where they're able to bring what the original comic book writers and artists put down on the page to life on screen. So how right. does it feel to see that technology in action and see this grand storytelling? Um, well, it's amazing, obviously, what they do with the CGI and basically how it translates from the comic book uh, to the screen. Uh, I remember it was interesting um, an earlier interview that Kevin Feige did when he was describing when this whole Marvel Universe first started with the movies. He said he had all his writers and everybody just spread comic books on the floor and start from there. So I think that's very telling right there. So. And one of the really cool things is that you are actually a fan as well, right? Absolutely. And, you know, as a fan, what are you most looking forward to this evening? Well, um, of course, as fan, we've always been very big Captain America fans, right? Um, but, of course, all his characters were big fans. And uh, I have to admit, the thing I'm really looking forward to is the Eternals movie. Wow. So uh, that, that's always been my personal favorite of well, all his Marvel creations. Well, one of the things we would love to have you do is say hello to the Russo brothers. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah they're okay. over, over on our other stage. You want to say hi to them? Sure. Hello, gentlemen. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hope to meet you in person. Excellent. Well, thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to talk to the fans. Right. We really appreciate and it. If I could just say one thing for all you fans, um, we're going to be in the theater tonight and those watching on Marvel.com. Uh, who are going to see the Avengers movie at a later date, um, just at some point during the movie, just say thank you, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. And uh, I'm sure they'll hear you. So that would be great. That is such a beautiful thought. I'm, I'm going to do that tonight. Thank you for planning that idea. Thank you. Have a wonderful time and congrats. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, Whoa, I love that. Wow. My heart. My heart. I well, know, you know right? what? I hear there's something going on over on stage one. We toss back over. Let's take a look. We have a whole brood of Russos. We have all the Russos in the building, potentially. Yes. Well, yeah. I, there's like 20 more somewhere. This, this is not quite all of us. Yeah. This is our, just our female offspring, but not even all of our female offspring. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's, it's <laughs> I love it. It's a lot of it. Russo. It's a lot of Russos. Congratulations on the film. I need to know, though, we can finally talk about Infinity War now. So now I can finally, finally tell you guys, you hurt my feelings. I was very sad. <laughs> but what, what made you guys say, we're going to let our heroes lose in this big way? Well, I mean, we just try to tell the best stories and the stories that interest us and that are compelling to us. And, uh, you know, sometimes heroes lose. And I think, um, uh, you know, this is uh, the interesting thing about serialized storytelling is, is that, uh, um, you know, there's always an next chapter to the story. So now we're going to see what happens uh, in Avengers Endgame. Ooh, I can't wait. I know. You made me cry the last film, so I'm bringing tissue this time. I'll be prepared. Right. Bring a, bring a few. <laughs> All right, I just need to know, before you guys go, because everybody wants to talk to you right now, what is the one thing that you want people to feel walking into the theater on opening night? Well, look, you know, we've all, we've all been able to enjoy our favorite stories throughout our lives, and we, we think of this movie as the ending of the story that's been told for the past 10 years, over these past 22 movies now. And, you know, this is the ending, and like, like all of our hopes, you know, you always hope that the ending is the best part of the story. And so I hope people are coming into the movie with those kinds of hopes and expectations, and I hope that we can deliver on that. 
I cannot wait to see it tonight. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Enjoy. Find all the other Russos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Ciao. Oh my gosh, so many Russos. Who knew? They could have a whole film company. You know what? They could be their own group of Avengers with just all the kids. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. They have generation upon generation of Avenger. You know, I, I'm looking at these two men and they're so chill and so yeah. calm while, I don't know, being the architects of arguably the biggest movie maybe in cinematic history. <laughs> I know. And I mean, just to think, oh my gosh, oh, John Favreau, speaking hello. Speaking of architects. Hello. I know. The, the man who kind of started this whole darn thing. Uh, kind of. This kind is your sorta. fault. Huh? This is your fault. I'm like a grandpa a grandpa uh, with all the, <laughs> all the grandchildren here. Oh, I'm happy to be here. It's, I've never, this is very surreal for me because it wasn't like this in the beginning and now it's turned into something so much more and uh, so many people have contributed to building this into this thing that you see. And it's great to be with the people that I started with here today, too, and to have been able to stay a part of it uh, over the decade as an actor and as uh, somebody who kind of helps out but uh, is also the audience member that gets to be at every premiere and watch how it's developed and changed over time. And I think a lot of fans know you, obviously, as happy, but you really, I mean, you've consulted on, do you know how many, uh, every film? Every film? No, like, like the Iron Man movies, so there's three of those, and, and four Avengers movies. And I've been in lies, the... Lies, <laughs> lies, lies, yeah! <laughs> Meant to be together. This press line may be the end of us. <laughs> oh, how are you, buddy? It's fun, we're having a ball. You, you came here, you thought it was a boat show. I know, I... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this where uh, the new Chris Craft is being debuted? <laughs> this is exactly who I should be up here oh, with. The man who literally started it all, who had the faith in me and this connection we had. And, and now, at this point, he's the one moderating the press conferences because he's moved on. <laughs> he's moved on even more gigantic stuff. I don't even know what to say about this. Did he have to convince you to play Iron Man? Quite the reverse. We he had, had to convince me. We knew. We have to convince everybody else. We have to convince everybody else. But by the way, that's, you know, it's that's all, it yeah, history is interesting. Like, we could rewrite it in success, but the truth be told is we were hungry and we had a good feeling. And so seeing something like this tonight, you realize you're just part of something, and yet you kind of get to pretend you're at the beginning of it. But tonight really feels like, I don't know, it's special. It, is. It, it does, and it feels that it feels all. Oh, it feels really it does feel momentous, and I think something that's so beautiful in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is that there's a great sense of mentorship, and I also hear that you guys both provide that quite a bit backstage. A lot of the other actors have said that you've well, supported them. Well, locker room leadership, <laughs> I think so. Well, it was fun working with Tom Holland for sure. Yes. That's on something Spider -Man. that we've both done a fair amount. Yeah, we did that. I've, I've been in. A, I just got back from filming that one, and the. And then we were in a homecoming together. Yep. So that was really fun. That was that really felt like a reunion. Here's the crazy part. I'm older than John by more than a year or two, but he's essentially my big brother. And he has been that and will remain that until he starts looking younger than me. <laughs> in which case, we will revert back to the way things really are. It's nice to see you, by the way. Oh, it's it's great to see you as well. Oh, yeah. Do you have more to say? You promote no, something else? No, 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 no Lion King plug? What are no, we doing? It's all no, Disney, no, baby. Have a ball. <laughs> now, I need to know, there have been so many incredible scenes, but is there one in particular where you felt like you were shooting and you were like, wow, this this is a thing. This is going to be a big thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It always felt like, is this going to be a movie uh, in the beginning? Because we were kind of dancing as fast oh as we could. Oh, my gosh. Oh. The whole team is together. What? Oh. This could not be more meant that to be. just happened. Oh. And it's Jump still in. happening. Oh and it's God, still God, happening. <laughs> Holy smokes. The gang is all here together. Welcome. Now, you guys, you, and we have a bunch of survivors here. You've all survived the snap. Oh, I thought you were going to say Hollywood. Uh, and also and, Hollywood. And also Hollywood, and yes. And equal feet. And equal feet. <laughs> and a selfie to, to remember it all. But I'm, I'm just curious, what was it like the moment that you found out that some people were going away from you and some of them right in front of your face? Oh, no. Oh. 
Because of this guy. Holy smokes. The stage wind up becoming you, uh, every cast member ever. ever. Oh, yeah. That would be kind of awesome. I actually believe that. Tonight, tonight, is, tonight is chaos. Just understand that. It's quite all right. Okay, I enjoy good. chaos. Oh, no. He, next question. Oh, no. So, how is it? I mean, what happens at the end? I mean, just tell us about it. Oh, my God. You're not going to believe it. Gwyneth is actually in charge yeah, of explaining. Of course she is. Oh, boy. Oh my gosh! Okay, You're we've leaving? got we've got two rows. All, right, so so, all, right, all right, right, here we go. Gone to ribbons. I'm gonna just say thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy your night. Hello, hi, no, hi, Chris. I'm not How are you guys doing? Up here. No, but you have to. You have to stay. You're capped. We're what? What, what do you think about Cap? What do you think about Captain America? Chris Evans needs to know. <laughs> no, that's not, I don't. No, I. Exactly. Which theory of the super soldier serum do you know? <laughs> well, how's this question for you? Okay. What was the day, the final moment in which you wrapped, and you knew oh. the end game was indeed the end game? Well. Don't you can't pick your words carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> well. Um, this is a hard, difficult to answer this I, question. I I, you know, I think the like, last. It's like well, it's like I, I have a, I have a. Buy a vowel. <laughs> I have, I have a, a, an indelible moment from filming. I don't know if it was the actual last day, but we were all together and um, shooting at this beautiful, on this beautiful lake in Atlanta, and it was um, amazing to be with everybody the casts of multiple movies all at the same time. Can I say that? I don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was don't really... Don't worry, we'll edit this out. Okay, good. It's live. It's, it's live. live. It's okay. but that's okay. And I just said that. Uh, no. Sorry. But anyway, it's been just an amazing experience to be a part of for all these 10-plus years, and um, it's very nostalgic and emotional, and it's wonderful to be here. We're so excited. We're so excited as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. Now, any, any, any nope, other? that was it. No. You nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> uh, we want to talk to you all night, but everybody also wants to talk to you too. It's un. <laughs> he just, he'll just, he'll just hijack every interview you have all night. He's playing the waiting game right now. Oh, Chris, thank you. thank you. Poor poor Chris Evans, what a gentleman, he, a true Captain America, just trying to let everybody get a chance to speak, but poor Chris didn't get a chance. It's quite all right. I think he's satisfied with that. I know. Can, I mean, it really is such a party here on the carpet. Everybody's catching up. They're getting into trouble, and that's the joy it's of it. It's a party. It's a family reunion. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were real tender exchanges between cast members who hadn't seen each other for a while, but have been on a loving your journey together. Absolutely. All right, Tamara, Angelique, how's it going down there? I, I don't know, not as good as it's going down there for you, <laughs> Pepper Potts, Happy Hogan. Oh, my God. I mean, you had literally half half of the Marvel Universe right there on the stage with you. And how much did it's I true. love seeing that original core group together from Iron Man? Oh. I mean, that's fantastic. How is yeah. that for and you guys? Can, and you can see the chemistry right away. Mm -hmm between yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. and Gwyneth Paltrow. That's why it made sense. Right away, mm -hmm. you felt the two connecting, and you can feel, realize yeah. why we as fans feel connected to them as a couple. Well, and that's just, yeah. oh, oh, hi. Oh, Wait, oh, oh, okay, somebody oh, just oh, popped I up. Hear the, hi, I hear Evangeline Lilly is here. No, no, Kobe Smolders. But oh, my God, Kobe so I'm so like, sorry. No, no it apologies. happens all the time because, you know what, we both auditioned for Lost. Uh, spoiler alert, she got it. <laughs> And so this is, no, you're not the first time. J.J. Oh Abrams gosh. also did that. He chose her over me. It's fine. Well, it's fine. I choose you right now. Hi. I Hi. have to say, because my husband is such a fan, we were watching you guys in the car, and you're doing such a splendid job. And I'm sure you guys are running on fumes. But people are watching, and we were so enjoying it in the car. So thank you. Oh, it's very sweet. And yeah. it's impossible to be on fumes. There's so much energy in here. It's, there's a vibe. Yes. You feel that, too? I'm feeling yes, a vibe. Yes, absolutely. Heck yeah. And now, yes. does your husband, because I know Taryn is like a huge... He's Man. crazy, yeah. Does he I mean, pump you for fan. information? Not, yes. um, well, he, well, I mean, he reads the scripts because we're married. Oh. I mean, that's allowed, right? Kevin I mean, Feige? I don't know. Um, <laughs> my husband didn't read anything that I have oh, from no? this shoe. No, 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 I mean, it's there. It's in my office. I mean, he's allowed to do what he does with his time is what he does with his time. <laughs> so, right. I, so I think that's okay. Um, but so he gets to read the scripts. Um, and yeah, you know, he gets to come and visit and stuff and, and see the sets and is a part of it because we're married. That's what happens. You're a good wife. Thank you. That's a, <laughs> Thank that's you. a good wife. Yeah. That's a good wife. Yeah. yeah. Now, what if I just didn't tell him anything and I just held it over him like a power play? That's oh a good God, wife, too. I totally could. <laughs> I could. I, I, now I'm really regretting some choices I've made <laughs> in my life. Yes.
All right, so we we got to talk about okay. the snap, the snappening. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. um, how how yeah. did you find out about the snappening? The snapping, I like that. Um, they called me and they said, come back and snap with Sam Jackson. And I said, yes. So you knew right up front? Yeah, I mean, I did the tag. Um, but, it, but I think we, I came at a weird time where they had just finished shooting, I think, almost everything. And then they were just tying up some loose ends and they mm -hmm. wanted a Captain Marvel tease from the last one. So... Yeah, I just, you know, they call and I go, which has worked out great for me. That's what I do with my boss calls, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah just you up. just yeah. go. Yeah. Yes, because well, being employed is nice. It, yeah, it's yeah, kind of the coolest. Like Marvel, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Enjoy well, the night. Thank Have you. a wonderful Continue party. Continue on, you guys. Way to go. Way to go. Thank you both. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Oh, my gosh. What a delight. And Absolutely. we've had her husband on many times on Marvel Live during our sort of San Diego Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, and always, oh my gosh, Chris oh. Pratt. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Elsie? I'm very nice good, Nice to see sir. you guys. You both good look so you. nice tonight. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Now, I have to say, you made me sad in Infinity War. You hurt my feelings because you couldn't hold it together. You why made does, me mad. Why I does Star-Lord lose it? Well, I think Star-Lord has, you know, his superpower is that he's part human and he's, uh, you know, got real emotions. And I understand that people are sad and they're mad. <laughs> I am too, as a, but also as a fan, I'm kind of happy because, you know, if it weren't for Star-Lord, you wouldn't even get Endgame. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would have a movie that was finished oh, in 45 minutes. Silver lining. You know I mean? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Hello. Uh, how are you? Amazing. You good. look great. Welcome. We're just live streaming to the Marvel fans right now as we speak. Oh my gosh! Hello, everyone. How's it going? I'm ex I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm uh, a little bit scared. Scared? Have you, you have you seen anything? Well, first of all, I feel scared just because at any given moment. Thank you so much, Chris. What I'm trying to say is that at any given moment, I feel like I'm about to let some secret just fly out of my mouth, and I oh, just yeah. want the movie to come out yeah. so that I have to, I don't have to hold anything in anymore. Yes. I can't do it. And you must be exhausted. You've been around the world and back. I Well, <laughs> I did go to London for a couple of days, and it was really, really this quick whirlwind trip, and the fans were, like, so excited and so super. I, it was crazy over there. Right. And now we're back here, and, yeah, how about you? Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, you must have been traveling a little bit with this film. I mean... Maybe not as much as the last Infinity War. Tell us about it. Like, what's it like? Just, how, what do you do to sort of, when you get to a place, you need to sort of take a load off. What do you do to kind of revive your spirit when you get there? Do you go to the gym right away or what? Well, I'm, I'm so glad you asked. Thank you so much, Scarlett. Um, this press tour has been actually not exhausting for me because I haven't had to do any of it, uh, given the circumstances of Infinity That must be great for you. It was great. I, 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 I did follow all of your Insta Live stories from Shanghai and... Yeah, I wasn't there. Brazil, Mexico City, Ukraine. Uh, Didn't go to any of those places. Yo, I'm just naming places, but I was golfing and uh, and fishing the whole time, which is great. Great. That sounds very relaxing and really productive. So mad at me. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> All right, back to us. You guys. I, I cannot let you leave the stage without talking about this fantastic, gorgeous piece of jewelry. Oh my on gosh. Your hand. Pretty great, Ooh, right? What? My friend Sonia Boyajian made that. My boyfriend actually had this made for me. What? Because he's, uh, quote, Kevin Feige, the most geeky, romantic person <laughs> ever. But yeah, that's my um, Thanos's. That's it. That's that his. Is God, yeah, that's it right there. All right. Well, we're going to hope that's not a spoiler, but it would be kind of cool if it were. Yeah. I will, we'll keep our fingers crossed, but we're going to just wait and see what happens in the movie. Thank you so okay. much. Enjoy oh, the night. Pleasure. Thank you so much. And if you, you ever want to host for Marvel, just come on yeah. over. You have to, I feel you have like... to apply for it, though. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Update yeah. yeah. your LinkedIn page. For work right now. Yeah. Yeah. Since it's now that engaged, yeah, that's so. right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy your night. Thank you. So much see you guys. Fun. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what, a, what fun. Absolutely the troublemakers. Hilarious. Can you imagine being on set with those two? Oh, right. I know. I can't imagine it at all. It sounds like it must just be a ball. But, you know, there are a lot of fans here still, and I'm sure they're very excited to see all of this star power here on the carpet. Let's go check in with them. Hey, y'all, we are outside the premiere. We are with the greatest fans in the world. You can hear them. They're so excited. And look at this. Nebula. Nebula, how you doing? How you feeling? How long you been waiting? I'm feeling good, and I've been waiting since Thursday. And what is your name? Taryn. How old are you? 12. 12? Oh my gosh, you are incredible. Thank you for being here. We have another fan right here. What's your name? Nidia. Where did you come from? I'm from Tijuana, Mexico. Woo! 
How excited for you for this film? Super excited. I'm like waiting for this for years and I'm super emocionada. Woo! All right, from California to Mexico, where are you guys from? Argentina. Argentina, how long have you been waiting? Since, since Thursday. Thursday, that's days and days. You guys are incredible. Team Downey's got some dedication. Let's give it up for all these amazing fans and we're gonna go back to you at the carpet. We've heard it time and time again. Marvel fans are the greatest fans in the world. And what better to show how great they are than that incredible cosplay? You say it was 12 years old? Uh, yeah, so, oh, oh, hello. Oh, no, no, oh, come I, here, I, we, come have here. A, we have a we surprise have a guest. guest. No, come on over. We are talking oh, hello. 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 Come here. Um, it's Benedict Cumberbatch. It is, yeah, part of him. Yeah, I think the other part <laughs> just went that way. I thought it was gate crashing someone else's interview. Oh, no, no, this is your interview now, because oh, how could cool. we not talk to Dr. Stephen Strange? I, well, you, you, that, that's a rhetorical question, so I'm not going to answer. <laughs> there, exactly, yeah. There's nothing much that Dr. Stephen Strange or Benedict Cumberbatch, for that matter, can tell you at this point in time. Well, and that's really hard, Sadly. right? So that is one reason not to talk to Dr. Well, Stephen Strange. Well, we can talk about the fact that you are a big fan. Uh, I'm a big fan. That you... Yeah, and I like to kind of maintain that anticipation as a fan. I, you know, I, I got pitched the film after going, go on, go on, go on, go on, tell me. But, um, you know, they change things anyway, so I'm sure even if I could remember all of it, there'll be surprises. But I, the moment after it hit me, I was like, okay, I want to forget everything I've just been told in a good way because I just want to sit there and receive it for the first time like, like we all should, you know? Absolutely. It's very exciting. Well, maybe you could use the time stone to go back in time to a time when you don't know anything about what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, b before time I was even Doctor Strange. Just forget about everything. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. No, that's too far. Well, I think that actually brings up a really great thing, and I know me and Tamara talk about this a lot. Is yeah. What has been your favorite Marvel movie moment? Oh, uh, I'm not good on favorites. I really don't do favorites. I think what this em enter enterprise, I'd like to say Empire, but this franchise does sort of just without a flaw every time is every moment they trump themselves. Terrible word to use. They better themselves. That word needs to be hijacked back into the English language for its proper use. Um, it, it, it's, it's brilliant what they do. It's brilliant what they do. They manage to outplay themselves, you know, and uh, that just happened with Captain Marvel and it will happen again with this film and it goes on. It goes on. Black Panther before that, you know, it's, it's, it's great. It's just a great cultural thing to watch these films roll out and have an important social impact as well as be the incredible kind of tentpole entertainment that they are, you know. It's, they, they, they've cornered the market in that and they really do it the best. Well, and one of the things that's so amazing is there's an incredible team both in front of and behind yeah, the camera. Sure. You know, I'm curious for you, what's it like? Give us a little bit of behind the scenes of what it's like being on set with the Russo brothers. Uh, we know you can give away any secrets, it's but like, just... Well, it's like you're, on, you're in the biggest playpen invented for this medium and you go there with all the work done. Uh, interview bomb. <laughs> you're allowed. He's definitely allowed. <laughs> that's our future president, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, basically, yeah, it, uh, sorry, that really threw me. Russo Brothers, Russo Brothers. Yes, Russo Brothers. Brothers, stay on. Um, it's, it's like being given every key to every kingdom to make a film like this, and, and you have these incredible ideas and scripts and characters, and it's like, let's just throw it all away and play. So you're given all this responsibility, and then it's about, in the moment, constantly keeping it fresh and innovative and different and, you know, one-upping it and plussing it, as you guys say, and uh, that's fun. It's always alive. And with someone like Robert on set, who is the ultimate leading man, you, you, you have a good time. The crew have a shorter day. You're working faster and harder, and it's fun. And yeah. it's cool as well, which is a big cloak and a costume. I appreciate the temperature on a, on a Robert Downey Jr. stage. It's a, it's a good thing. Well, we're really excited that yes. you took a moment to talk to us during Thank this momentous us. night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me and all the us's I just mentioned. Thank uh, you. We will have you us's anytime. Us. Have a great time tonight. You Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. All right. What is happening over at the other side of the carpet? I'm so curious. <laughs> Oh my goodness, well we have Mr. Don Cheeto with us. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, especially because we're getting to talk to you. Now, how is War Machine? Is he getting up on his feet? Yeah, War Machine continues to uh, win the day. He's going to be back. We're not worried about him. He's good. Uh, and he's going to be a fully contributing partner in this film. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, now, that, that, I think I'm that's the most about Endgame we've gotten tonight. <laughs> that's, and that, that's about all I know. I think I'm in it. I think I'm in it. We don't know. 
if we always have to show up and see what happens. We, we, uh, there. Okay, maybe a minute. There's there a you suit. You're definitely in yeah, it. There we well, go. The suit's definitely in it anyway. The suit's in it. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Is this the first project you've been involved with in which you had to be so secretive to basically every single person in your life? Except for every other Marvel movie I've ever done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is kind of a theme. You know, don't talk, the red dots show up, and you just know to be quiet. You know? No. I'm curious, you get to be in sort of the, the super suit, but do you have any superhero advice? Like, what makes a good superhero in your mind? Wow, I think, you know, teamwork. I think, you know, uh, sacrifice, uh, uh, putting others for yourself. All those things that we were told to do and that our parents told us to do when we were young, you know? I ignored that stuff. Yeah, that's <laughs> the only way to get it. Yeah. You have to ignore it. You have to realize at some point your parents are insane and you just go for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> well, is that an end game spoiler? No, hopefully not. Hopefully no, 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 no. No, my parents no. are not in the movie. Okay, darn it. Darn it. <laughs> now, you guys have been all over the dang place. You've been on every TV show. Did you steal a woman's toaster from the Colbert show? What? What is this story that's being spun around? That's a. That's not true. Sola toaster. What? I read it on Wikipedia. I thought it was true. <laughs> oh well, if it's in Wikipedia, it was. Abs it's absolutely right. true. Yes, I stole a woman's toaster. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you do get to go on these huge, huge press tours. Uh, what has been the highlight of this press tour? I think it's here. We're here now. The culmination of it, and about to see, you know, what all this hard work and all these many, many years have, have added up to. I, I'm, we're just all really excited. We are too. How emotional were you the last day? Um, I, I was very emotional, and then they said, we have reshoots. And then you get re-emotional again, and they're like, oh, that was amazing. And then they call you again and go, we have some more reshoots. So then the tears kind of dry. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope there's not too many tears tonight. Thank you so much for talking with us. Enjoy the film. Go get a good seat. Uh, yeah, I got to yes. do that. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank good you. to see you. Enjoy. Oh, my gosh. I War Machine has gone through a so lot much. Rhodey Rhodes, oh my gosh. I mean, him personally, but then also remember, he doesn't know if his best friend's alive or dead. I know, that's got to be a bad day for old Rhodey, but <laughs> we're going to find think? out how it, how, how it went. But we do have some cool cosplayers out on the carpet, and I really want to give a moment to our fans, to you guys, and to the fans that have been here all night long enjoying the night. All right, we are back outside with some of our amazing cosplayers. Now, I saw you all in the crowd, and I've seen you at so many of our premieres. How many have you guys been to? Oh, we've been to so many. We've been to Ant-Man, so many. We've been going to these. Sean, how many? I don't know the number, but I'm just going to give this number to you. When Iron Man came out, he was two, and he's going to be 13 next week. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. That is awesome. Now, your cosplay is amazing, by the way. How long did it take to make? Well, I didn't make this. This is authentic. Um, from Europe, They, I just ordered it and had it tailored. So it took a while to find it, though. Oh, that's even better. It's even yeah. better. <laughs> Sometimes piecing them together is even more fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, did you? Yeah, what about this one? This was actually from an Army surplus store. Now, I don't know who was in the Army that this would have fit, but we got this jacket from the Army surplus store. So, yeah. Amazing. It's so good to see you guys. Do you have one last thing you wanted to say? thing yeah do I need to have the mic for me okay so Gavin you're gonna be right over here so Lisa I, I brought a thing with me Lisa flew all the way down from Portland to be here tonight this is her first premiere we've been together a year and a half I went to Nivendalier am I saying that right I always mispronounce it and I had this giant dwarf make something for me it's a little bit smaller than an infinity gauntlet but I think you're gonna like it Lisa Will you marry me? Well, oh my gosh! I think she said yes. I think she said yes. It's a wonderful moment only here at Marvel Cinematic Universe. Back to the carpet. Too sweet. Yes. I love that Captain America and Peggy Carter, even if their cosplayers got their moment, they finally got love. Lorraine? I'm already engaged, Elsie, and you're married. Oh, good. Oh, that, so okay. All right, good. Never mind. Trouble, okay, but, good. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We've, we've, got, <laughs> we've got a Vin Diesel here. Well, we'll be your fans, or at least we're fans of you. Hello, Vin Diesel. 
Oh. How, how are you guys? Give me group hug. 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 Yeah, crushing the puns. All right, we got to talk about this jacket. You always bring it. You always bring it bring at it. these premieres. You were branches before, guys. now you're full on bark. Oh, you know what? This is the way I see it. Um, as a lover of Comic Con, I know how these cosplayers really engage and how they really commit. And for something like Groot, I always like to participate. So at the first Guardians of the Galaxy premiere, you remember in London, I wore the stilts. So I was seven and a half feet tall. Right. And I was feeling my Grootness then. <laughs> and then for Avengers, I added that jacket that had the... And so I wanted to think, what is a cool jacket <laughs> that kind of speaks to the uh, Groot-esque qualities of all of us? And that's what this is. I just want to be clear. No trees were harmed in the making no of this jacket. No trees Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> you know... No, no. no trees were harmed during the making... <laughs> Of this jacket. And it is Earth Day, so I feel like you... you know what, Angel? You're 100% right. It's <laughs> Earth Day, guys. It's Earth Day. And, and that's even more reason why we all have to celebrate our Earth. Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah. Because there's one constant in all of us. No matter how divided we are, we all love this planet. We sure do. We sure do. And we sure love Earth's mightiest heroes. And that's... I love when you guys say this. You guys are the best interviewers in the world. Okay. Is this live? This, this is, is very live. live. This is very live, yes. Okay, I'm sweating in the jacket, as you can tell. I'm going to have to, like... <laughs> I, I'm sweating. It's a great to-do cosplay, but be warned, you will sweat. Especially in weather like this. All right. Go cool down. Get a I great will. seat. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Enjoy. Guys. Thank you. Oh, my Thank gosh. You. We are Groot. Yes, we are all Groot. We are all Groot in our hearts. I mean... Oh, I hope, I, justice for Groot, you know? Justice for Groot. Justice for Groot. There have been so many amazing people here tonight. Yes. I can't even believe what a crazy night it's been. It's been so fun. What was your favorite part, LZ? Oh, well, I was going to say, you know, when we had Robert Downey Jr. and John Favreau together, but then Groot showed up for Groot. So how can I pick and choose? I know. I mean, getting to see the original Iron Man group, that that's everything, right? They're our cornerstone of the MCU. Now, I'm wondering... Tamara, Angelique, I know you're over there and you've been having a wild night also. <laughs> I'm curious, what was your lady's favorite part tonight? Uh, we, we are, are Groot. Groot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we couldn't resist. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. You know what? And, and I think Vin Diesel really just gave a very wise piece of advice to cosplayers. <laughs> yep. Yes, cosplay, it's great, but it is a little hot in some of those costumes. Yeah. And I gotta say, saying that, my favorite part tonight Somebody got engaged in cosplay, and yes, Peggy Carter and Captain America got their love story, and I am a happy, happy person. I think for me, just seeing so many faces from the entire history of the MCU all coming here together tonight. Yeah. I mean, of course, like that moment with John Favreau and Robert Downey oh. Jr. together who started it all just made my heart sing. Yeah. How about you guys? Oh, I mean, I... I feel like there's only one thing left that we could really do that would be worthy of this night. Break out in song? No! <laughs> go watch Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. Of course, it's going to be in theaters for the world on April 26th. And uh, for many people here tonight, it'll be the first time they get to see it. Yes, including us. I have tissue ready because Infinity War caught me off guard. No. But not this time. I'm going to be prepared for every emotion possible for this movie. <laughs> there you go, you guys. Be sure to check out at Marvel, at Avengers, and Marvel.com slash Endgame premiere for everything tonight. And go see Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame in theaters on April 26th. That's Absolutely. it for us tonight. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for carrying me this entire oh time. Oh, my God, LZ. Thank you for <laughs> hanging out with me. We're just going to have a big love fest here. But I think the fans at home deserve something very special Take one last look at Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame. I finally know what I have to do. I know in my heart that it's right. Groot, put your seatbelt on! You always picking up after you, boys? Okay. 
Notice you've copied my beard. Some people move on, but not us. This is the fight of our lives. Part of the journey is the end.